What's up everyone, Drew here with ThatDeviceDaily.com. Today we have a case review for you guys, and this one's on the Bezzy case, high quality leather case for your iPhone 4, and you guys can find this case at BezzyCases.com. They did send this case on out to our way, free of charge for review. I definitely do appreciate it. So let's go ahead and go over the actual packaging, and we'll simply get straight on into the case. So here on the front we have Bezzy case, high quality leather case. On the side we have nothing, bottom nothing, other side nothing. Then here on the other side, we have their website, bezycases.com. Then we have technology is style, so there we go. That's the box. Let's go ahead and open it up. And here we have the actual case with a nice little case on the top of it. Then we have some business cards and whatnot. I actually did do an unboxing of this, so if you guys wish to check that unboxing out, I will have a link down below, so definitely make sure you guys check it out. And here we have the nice little carrying a pouch. It says Bezzy case. You know, your standard little pouch you can put stuff in. You don't actually have to put your phone in here. But if you wish, you could do that. It's up to you. And uh, there we go. Here's the case itself. Got their branding right there. Nice little brown leather. Feels very smooth in the hand. Inside of here we got a nice little thick iPhone 4. Kind of like a little plastic material. Inside of here you have nothing, there's no screen shields or anything like that in case you're curious. So, let's go ahead and go over the actual case. So here on the front, we have their logo right there. Bezzy case, got some nice blue stitching. You got the leather displaying right there, it looks very nice. And there's more stitching along the back and whatnot. On the inside of the case we have some very nice blue material as you guys can tell. It's kind of like a suede, so it's definitely not going to scratch your device or anything like that, which is excellent. So let's go ahead and throw our iPhone 4 in here. So the best way to do this is always just slide it in. And there you go. You guys are locked in, as you guys can see. Now, there is a one con about this case, these type of style cases. Once one is in here, it pretty much stays in there because, uh, you know, you can't actually access your screen or anything like that. You'll have to keep slotting it on out and all that good stuff. It's, I'm not a big fan of that, but if you guys are, that's really up to you. Um, other than that, it's a great case. I just don't like sliding my phone on and off cases. But, again, it's definitely your preferences and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and go over all the ports and whatnot on this case. So uh, taking a closer look on the left side here. We have full access to the vibrate switch, no problems there to get to, very nice cutout. Now notice how it is not covered, so if you guys did drop this on the concrete or the table, you'd probably scratch the aluminum or break the glass, so definitely be aware of that because the top is completely exposed, so that's kind of a downside with this casing, but other than that, it's a nice case to have, uh, just if you guys like slow their cases and all that good stuff. And uh, the volume up and down buttons, very nice to get to. Nice feedback as you guys can hear. And then we got nothing on the side. Very nice stitching once again. Come on to the bottom. We have full access to the 30 pin and speaker and mic. No problems there. If you guys are on the speaker phone or anything like that, you're good to go. Come on the side. Your SIM tray is covered, but you got very nice stitching as you guys can see. On the top, we have full access to everything. The power, no problems there. Headphone jack and external mic is definitely wide open, so if you guys have any straight or L-shaped headphones, you should be A-OK. -okay. And there's their logo and branding. That's pretty much it, guys. So I definitely do recommend this case. Like I said, my only cons with this case is just that you have to keep sliding your phone in and out of it. I'm not a big fan on that, but some people probably are. Uh, so, you know, if you guys like this, I would definitely recommend this case. It's definitely a high quality leather case. It feels very nice in the pocket and your hand. You can't even tell it's in your pocket once when it's in there. So, uh, there you go. So, this has been my review on the Bezzy case, leather case, from bezzycases.com. This has been Drew with iDeviceDaily.com. If you guys like this review, make sure to subscribe right up there. Give this video a thumbs up, drop comments down below, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and check out the website at idiovicedaily.com. Until the next one, guys, we'll see you guys in the next video.